What's going on guys, it's your average consumer and chances are if you own a smartphone, you've probably heard of 5G and if you have a phone that's capable of it, you've probably even seen it in the top right corner of the screen. But the big question is, are you really using 5G? Well, T-Mobile was cool enough to sponsor today's video to help us answer that question, which is cool because I've been rocking with T-Mobile since I was like in high school. But today we're gonna be checking out T-Mobile's 5G and how it really impacts people like me and you. Now, to my average consumers out there who might have heard about 5G but don't really know what it is, the biggest benefit that you're gonna see is way, way better data speeds. And I'm talking about hundreds of megabits down. And while it may sound like more big numbers, who cares? Trust me, there are a lot of real world scenarios where this kind of network changes everything. So to test out these 5G networks, Jay and I headed over to New York. There's a little bit more to do there than Jersey. And we actually had some really surprising findings. And of course, when you're testing network speeds, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is bust out a speed test. That was the first thing we did. And we got to see just what we were working with while out there. And I'm gonna tell you guys, it's pretty impressive. Okay guys, so we are currently in one of the locations where you can get some of the fastest 5G in the city. And we've got a speed test open so we can see what some of those speeds are like. All right, so let's give this a shot and see what we get. Okay, climbing over 100, over 200, Jay. Oh, are we gonna break 300? Oh, oh. oh. 306, 306 megabits down. That's faster than my Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> and we got 54 up. So this is, wow. And guys, while I'm sure everyone's data speed varies, I think we can all agree that around 300 megabits down is absolutely insane. That is really, really fast. And it allows you to do a lot and some things even instantaneously. Actually, let's pull up one of my videos and see if we could watch it with no problem. All right, so we got some playback right now. Now, for me, I wanna see if I can just go to any part of the video. Oh, that's it. Oh, I like that. Jay, it's like instant, what? See, this is where you get those real world examples of the benefit of having 5G. Like if you're just watching a YouTube video, you know, you wanna skip certain parts, it just goes right to the spot. And this is not already buffered out as you guys can see, it'll just, this is nice. If you guys saw it for yourself, being able to go through a video without pausing at all is just, that's everything we want, right? Being able to pull up like YouTube videos or shows or TVs without having to deal with buffering, that's a game changer. And that's just one of the benefits of having access to those 5G speeds. There are quite a few more that we're gonna talk about in a second, but let's talk about the nature of 5G. So with 5G, when you're getting those really high peak speeds, you're not really gonna be able to get that everywhere that you go. There are select areas that have those really crazy high speeds. That's T-Mobile's ultra capacity 5G, but you are still gonna get 5G coverage with T-Mobile's extended range 5G. But with extended range 5G, you might not get those crazy speeds, but you should average better speeds than you would with something like LTE. Now this extended range 5G is what helps T-Mobile provide 5G coverage across the nation to millions of people. And they've been able to cover this much ground thanks to their merger with Sprint. And there's gonna be a lot happening with T-Mobile's network in 2021. And as a T-Mobile subscriber, I am extremely excited for it. And while we're on the topic of 5G and their locations, one thing about 5G is sometimes when there's a tower with certain companies, they'll have the tower, the second you step away from it, you lose your 5G connection. So all those crazy fast data speeds have you pretty limited in terms of where you can be with the phone but things are a little bit different with T-Mobile. Now, the great thing about T-Mobile's 5G network is that you're not limited to just standing in this one spot to get that really good data. We can actually walk around the corner and still get access to some crazy speed. So, I'm gonna show you guys. All right, so we're a pretty good distance away from where we were before. Let's see if we're gonna still get those good speeds. All right, that's not bad, Jay. Nice. 
All right. And that just gives you an idea of the amount of coverage that T-Mobile has. So the idea behind T-Mobile's 5G network is to not only give you the really fast speeds, but also the coverage so you're not like stuck in one spot. And of course, while we were out there, like a good dad, I had to check up on my boy Austin, see how he was doing. And guys, when you have access to a good network with like really high speeds, you get some really good quality for video chats. So one of the benefits of having access to a crazy fast network is jumping on a video chat. Uh, you know, typically if you have pretty bad service with a video chat, you'll see that poor connection warning or you'll see it get pixelated. And it just, it's not a good time sometimes if you don't have a good connection. And when you're on 5G, you don't have to worry about that. So I'm gonna call up my boy Austin and see how he's doing. Hey, buddy. How's it going, little man? Oh, smart guy. Look at you, buddy. He doesn't look very interested in our conversation. I have all this good quality going over here and he doesn't even take notice. How's it going, Austin? But look at- well, I can't help it, I gotta work. So Austin, you having fun in there, buddy? That's a nice puzzle you got in your mouth there, buddy. No? You don't have it in your mouth anymore? <laughs> Jay, look at the quality, man. Clean. That is clean, man. And it's smooth, you're right, it's super smooth. So that is just like one of the small benefits, things that we take for granted, just having a nice, clear, video stream when you're chatting with someone, it's all different when you're on 5G. All right, buddy, I gotta go, it's cold. <laughs> and you guys saw it, the video looks clear as day, no drop frames, everything just looks super, super smooth, which is what we all want. We all hate seeing poor connection pop up on the screen when you're trying to video chat with someone, it's the worst. But when you're on a nice fast network, not only do you get good quality, but you get a stable connection. Now, of course, to take advantage of T-Mobile's 5G network, you'll need a compatible phone like the Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus 5G. This phone happens to be one of the best 5G phones out right now with an amazing camera system that gives you amazing photo quality and even up to 8K video. It's also running the fastest processor on a Galaxy device to date, which lets you do everything you need to without skipping a beat. It even packs all day battery life so you can get the most out of it. But either way, I'm happy to say 5G is here, devices that can use it are here, and it's a good time to upgrade if you haven't recently. And I've already talked about the benefit to like some of the everyday things that we do, video chatting, watching videos online, but when it comes to work, you can actually get quite a bit done. Me, as a video creator, I'm always dealing with really large files. And check this out, even while I'm inside of my car, it's like having access to Wi-Fi speeds or sometimes even better than Wi-Fi speeds right from my phone. All right guys, so it's been pretty crazy as we've been driving around testing out the 5G. Uh, it's actually snowing right now. Uh, so we decided we'd stay inside the car and try out something that a lot of people tend to do with their smartphones and that's connect it uh, over hotspot. So we've got this thing tethered to my uh, phone right now that is currently on a 5G network. Now this is an awesome use case because when you're out and about and you don't want to connect to like public Wi-Fi, connecting to your own hotspot is a great alternative, especially when you have access to 5G speeds. So I'm gonna do a speed test really quickly just to see what we're working with. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, we're not, we're not getting these speeds in a coffee shop, Jay. <laughs> Man, you know what's upsetting? This upload speed is better than my upload speed at home. <laughs> now, the thing about hotspots and when you're tethering to a laptop or something, the speeds aren't going to be as fast as what it is directly on your smartphone. But I mean, who's complaining with 158 megabits down, almost 80 up? Yeah, right? <laughs> okay, so I've got a video here in the cloud that I need to download. It's a huge video too. It's right now it's 6.6 .6 gigs. Uh, so I need to get this on my computer and let's see, what are we looking at in terms of a wait time? Okay, so we're like at seven to eight minutes, six minutes, a uh, six gig file. So that's actually really good. And what's kind of cool about this is that we've been able to be all around this area and still get access to these crazy speeds. For my folks out there who aren't moving around large files, 
trust me, that is a really big deal. Being able to take that much data and get it across to your computer really quickly, it is so clutch. And you can just imagine this in the workplace or even as we're working remote, you can kind of be on the go, post up anywhere, jump on an important Zoom call, and you're not stuck with some crummy Wi-Fi where they can't really see you. This is gonna be clear as day because you get access to so much speed. That about wraps it up for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it and hopefully you got some more insight into what 5G brings to the table, especially with T-Mobile's 5G. Like I said, I can't wait to see what they do for the rest of 2021. It is going to be insane. We're going to be a lot more connected. And watch, once those really crazy speeds start rolling out in a major way, it is going to be a game changer for everyone. So next video, guys, it's your average consumer. Peace.